Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a nice functional equation. We have f of x plus f of y minus f of z equals 2x plus 4y minus 8z. And we're going to be solving for f or try to find an expression for f of x in terms of x. The, the variable doesn't matter, you can also find f using a different variable like f of y, f of z, it doesn't matter. You're actually going to see how that plays out with the second method. So I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to replace y and z with zero at the same time. So y equals zero, z equals zero. As with functional equations, a lot of times uh, we have a lot of freedom unless given otherwise. We can replace x, y, z with pretty much anything. Sometimes we replace y with z, z with y, x with y, y with x, whatever. Uh, but pretty much you have that type of freedom. Here we have a lot of freedom because we have three variables, x, y, z. So we can really play with this. So if you do that, uh, you're going to get the following. f of x plus f of 0 minus, which is going to give you a negative f of 0, right? 0 minus f of 0. And then we kind of need to close all the parentheses. And this is supposed to equal, since y and z are both 0, this is actually going to equal 2x. Which is kind of interesting, right? We Basically, the, the whole expression kind of collapses into a single variable thing. Now, here's what we're going to do. We only have x on the right-hand side. And inside the parentheses here, we only have x as our variable. So, first of all, notice that this expression right here is a constant because f of 0 is constant. Its opposite is a constant and f of that is a constant. So we can basically call this c, c being f of negative f of 0. So we get f of x plus c equals 2x. And from here we can do something smart and get f of x real quick. Replace x with x minus c because you have that type of freedom again. And of course you have to do it on both sides but this is going to give you f of x minus c plus c and notice that the c cancels out and that leaves you with f of x equals on the right hand side I'm replacing x with x minus c so I get 2 times x minus c or 2x minus 2c 2c or not 2c hopefully you do see what I see and now here's what we're going to do 2c is a constant negative 2c is a constant so why not replace that with k? So from here, f of x can be written as 2x plus a constant k. Great. Now this is nice because at least I know what f looks like. It is linear. Guess what we can do with this information? We can go ahead and plug it into the original function and try to find the k from there. Because once I find k, then I got f of x. For example, if k is equal to 3, then f of x will be 2x plus 3, but first I gotta find k. I don't know what it is at this point, right? Pretend I don't. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my original equation, which was f of x plus f of y minus f of z equals 2x plus 4y minus 8z. So here's what I'm gonna do. f of x is 2x plus k, so it's basically f takes the input doubles it and adds a k to it. So this is going to be the input for f first. So f is going to do 2 times z, 2 times, I'm sorry, f of z, and then it's just going to add k to it. So in other words, I could pretty much say that, okay, f of z is just going to be 2z plus k. So I could probably write it like this, 2z minus k with the parentheses. And I kind of need to apply f to it one more time and then one more time. Okay, let's not worry about the right hand side because we're going to keep writing the same thing. Let's go ahead and simplify the left hand side. Okay, that's the first step. What am I going to do next? Um, and by the way, I kind of need to... Anyways, uh, I guess we could continue with this. Okay, so here's another approach. I, I guess this, this is a better one. I'm going to do this first. Uh, first treat this whole thing as our input. So let's do that. I think it's going to be a little easier. So f of something is going to be what? 2 times that thing, which is the whole thing. Let's go ahead and write it. 
2 times that plus k, right? And then now we're going to apply f inside. What is f of y minus f of z? That's basically going to be 2 times something plus k, so 2 times y minus f of z plus k. And then, of course, there is another k on the outside. And then we're going to apply one more time. This is going to be the final. And f of z is just going to be 2z plus k, y minus 2z plus k. we got to keep track of parentheses. There's quite a few of them, right? And we're going to get the following. So this part gives us this part. Make sense? Okay. Everything else is the same. Now, we can go ahead and distribute inside first. It's going to give us 2 times y minus 2z minus k. And then there's a plus k and then another plus k. But notice that we have to multiply by 2 first. So let's simplify inside. 2y minus 4z minus 2k plus k. And then the whole thing multiply by 2 plus k. And now we can go ahead and simplify this a little bit. x plus 2y minus 4z minus k. And then the whole thing multiply by 2 and plus k. And finally, this is going to be 2x plus 4y minus 8z. Does that look familiar? Minus 2k plus k. And finally, this is going to be the following, right? Well, it should give us 2x plus 4y minus 8z minus k. And what is that equal to? This is equal to 2x plus 4y minus 8z. And here, 2x plus 4y minus 8z is just going to cancel out. And by the way, I think uh, I, I want to make sure that I multiply this correctly. Uh, negative 2k, yes, I think that is correct. And then 2x, 4y, 8z, 2x, 4y, 8z are going to all cancel out, 0. Negative k equals 0, which means k is equal to 0. But we assume that, well, we didn't assume, it just came out that way. f of x was 2x plus k, and now k is 0, so I can now write f of x as just 2x, simply put, right? So how do you think we come up with these kinds of problems? We start with the solution or the answer and then kind of make up the left-hand side and the right-hand side just uh, comes up by itself. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the second solution real quick. Again, our original problem was f of x plus f of y minus f of z equals 2x plus 4y minus 8z. And then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace y with f of z first. And the motivation behind it is to get 0 here. Make sense? When you do that, you're going to get f of x plus f of 0 real quick. And then on the right-hand side, you only change y and replace it with f of z. And this gives you something interesting. We have an x and a z. Okay. What do we do with this? Well, let's go ahead and call this c because that's a constant. So we get f of x plus c. By the way, this may not be the same thing that we got with the first method. That's a different c. And now we get this. Now, notice that I can replace x with x minus c, but I'm not going to do it. I don't want to get f of x. I want to get f of 0 because I know it's c. So let's replace x with negative c. So we get f of 0 equals 2 times negative c, which is negative 2c plus 4fz minus 8z. But remember, this is f of 0, and f of 0 is c from here, right? So we can set this whole thing equal to c because f of 0 equals c. Make sense? Do you see what I see? Hopefully you do. Now let's go ahead and uh, put the negative 2c on the right-hand side. That's going to give us 3c. Wait a minute. What can I do with this? Yes. What is c? c is f of 0, and I have f of z. So replace z with 0, and that'll do the trick. Look at that. 4 f of 0 minus 0 equals 3c, but f of 0 is c. So 4c equals 3c, which means c is equal to 0. Obviously, 4 equals 3 is wrong, right? This is definitely a wrong way to do it. Don't do it like that. c equals 0, and we got f of, wow, well, when c is equal to 0, we're going to get 4 f of z minus 8z equals 0, because 3, zero, 3 times 0 is 0. And this gives us 4 f of z equals 8z, which is f of z equals 2z or not 2z, and you can just replace z with x if you want to get everything in terms of x, and that will bring us the exact same solution. So 2z or not 2z. 
That's the problem. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.